The holidays start here at Kroger with a variety of options to celebrate traditions old and new. You could do a classic herb roasted turkey or spice it up and make turkey tacos. Serve up a go-to shrimp cocktail or use Simple Truth wild-caught shrimp for your first Cajun risotto. Make creamy mac and cheese or a spinach artichoke fondue from our selection of Murray's cheese. No matter how you shop, Kroger has all the freshest ingredients to embrace all your holiday traditions. Kroger, fresh for everyone. The holidays start here at Kroger with a variety of options to celebrate traditions old and new. Whether you're making a traditional roasted turkey or spicy turkey tacos, your go-to shrimp cocktail, or your first Cajun risotto, Kroger has all the freshest ingredients to embrace your traditions. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Choose from a great selection of digital coupons and use them up to five times in one transaction. Check our app for details. Kroger, fresh for everyone. CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... Marshall. You can't escape the past, the saying goes. An interesting thought, although one soon begins to see the complexity within it. There's quite a variety to the past. There's yesterday, there's a year ago, a dozen years ago. That must be what the philosopher had in mind. After all, the past contained in a single lifetime is all we need to be responsible for. We can hardly be held accountable for the distant past. The past that is merely sand and dust. The past is dead. Or is it? There's hardly any time left. You're serious, aren't you? Oh, please. We must be on that boat. Safely out in the harbor before it begins. Before it's too late. You tell me a story about Vesuvius erupting on us all, but uh, see how quiet it is, how peaceful. Oh, now, don't speak such it nonsense. It will. It will. Believe me, Paulus, I don't know how I know, but I know. Our mystery drama, Return to Pompeii, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Victoria Dam and stars Marion Seldes. It is sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division and General Electric Citizen Band Radios. I'll be back shortly with Act One. It was a tranquil August afternoon in the beautiful mountainside resort town that overlooked the bay. Shopkeepers were going about their usual business, and the thousands of tourists were resting up for the evening sports spectacular to be held in the local stadium. Then at one o'clock, without any warning, the mountain breathed fire and lava, and by nightfall, the entire town and almost all of its inhabitants were buried beneath 60 feet of volcanic ash. Yes, it's a tragic story. But after all, it did happen long, long ago. The mountain was Vesuvius, and the town, of course, was Pompeii. The year was 79 A.D., and it has all disappeared into the immense pattern of things. All that remains now are the ruins. My husband, Michael, was killed in an automobile accident. And for months, nothing mattered much to me. I guess I felt that it was all my fault. Anyhow, it was going to take a lot to get me back into the human race again. You search and you hope. But what can you find to make you care again? It was Olga, my neighbor, who came up with the idea in the first place. That's right, a trip to Europe. Mm, no, I don't think so, Olga. Paris, London, Madrid? What am I going to do there? Oh, my dear Jennifer, need you ask? The food, the wine, the men. I'm not interested. <sighs> Honey, you'd better start getting interested. It's been almost six months now. Are you going to spend the rest of your life feeling sorry for yourself? You don't understand. Oh, I understand. You think you're the only widow in the world? But you're still young. You've got your look. Come on, enjoy life again. Oh, how can I after what I've done? Jennifer. It was my fault, Olga. It was. Mike had a little more to drink than usual after that party, and I should have insisted. 
insisted on driving. But no, I didn't want to be one of those nagging wives. He really loved that car. Jennifer, and please, I, listen I, to... I just should have driven and... Well, I didn't want to offend him. Can you beat that? Okay, forget Paris. How about Italy? Well, Italy? I've got a brochure for the 22 basic Italy package. You get to see everything. Mike was going to take me to Italy one day. His parents were born there, you know. You get to see Venice, Naples, and... <gasps> In Rome, there's a special tour of the Colosseum. I always wanted to see the Colosseum. Mike used to say that he was convinced that... One of his ancestors was a gladiator. <laughs> well, maybe he did descend from one of those ancient fighters. Well, he was the best coach the university ever had. Everybody said so. Competition was in his blood. I'm so glad they named that football scholarship in his memory. Yes. <gasps> Jennifer, you also get a special all-day excursion to the ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum. Mike was going to show me Pompeii. There's a sense of the past there, captured forever. He said if you miss everything else, at least... See Pompeii. Well, then, isn't that enough of a reason to go? <laughs> when you book an economy tour, <laughs> you get an economy bus. Oh, this is the <laughs> second time we've broken down to Naples. What did the driver say? Oh, something about a radiator hose, I think. Why are the people getting off the bus? They're going to have to send into the nearest city for the part going to be stuck here for a couple of hours. Where's everybody going? The driver suggested that the people who have the energy might want to go on ahead. The old city of Pompeii is about 20 minutes away. Well, let's do it. Walk to Pompeii? I really want to see those ruins. You're the history teacher. You can be my guy. Oh, I don't think we can. Oh, do you really want to sit on this hot bus for the rest of the morning? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. Just try to start enjoying yourself. For Michael. Okay. Let's see Pompeii. Oh, doesn't it make you feel odd? Almost 2,000 years ago, this was a living city. There's something almost mystical about the ruins. Shells of great homes, shops. But did you see that building over on the hill was, what, some sort of temple? The Temple of Minerva, I think. She was the Roman goddess of wisdom. And preserved rather well, <laughs> considering that it was hit by a volcano. Jen, right where we're standing 2,000 years ago, what would it have looked like? Well, I'd say it would have been a marketplace, leading off into narrow, incredibly narrow streets. In school, I've always admired the way you get the children to feel history. You make them close their eyes and try to imagine the sights and the sounds. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> it always works, too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Twenty centuries ago. Let's try it, Jen. Oh, we're not kidding. Oh, now, don't be a stick in the mud. Come on, let's have some educational fun. All right. Class, let's close our eyes. They're closed. What do you hear? Nothing. No. Concentrate. Twenty centuries ago. Listen for the clatter of chariot wheels. I'm listening. Concentrate. The sound of chariot wheels. Olga, can you hear them? I can. The sound of the marketplace. The cries of the vendors. Can't you almost hear it? Almost feel it. Especially those chariot wheels. It seems so real. I bet if I didn't open my eyes, I might just be back in ancient Pompeii. Look out! Hey, you there, look out. What? Don't you look where you're going? You could have been killed. Me? Yes, you, stepping right in front of my horse. That's a chariot you're driving. Well, of course it's a chariot. What does it look like, an ox cart? Those clothes you're wearing. Why are you dressed in a toga? Now, what concern is it of yours? Well, it's just that I, I don't often see a man wearing a toga. Oh, I, everybody seems to be in costume. Is this a festival of some sort? Olga? Hey, where did my friend go? Are you quite well, young lady? M my friend, I, I can't seem to find her. We were both standing here, trying to imagine that we were back in ancient Pompeii. Oh, and then... Women, all of them have their heads in the clouds. They should stay at home where they belong. I beg your pardon. Up! Up! Oh, oh. <laughs> Funny. 
me. All of a sudden, this place seems to be crowded with people. There must be some sort of local festival going on. Where on earth is Olga? How can she just take off and leave me like this? I wish she'd get back here. This is almost spooky. This street actually looks like an old marketplace. I better ask somebody. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Perhaps you might tell me what festival is this? Festival? I've never seen people dressed like this. Ah, ah, yeah. You're from Rome, huh? No, I'm, I'm just a tourist. Come for the big auction, have you? Oh, what auction? Hey, you better hurry up. It's already started. <laughs> the best slaves always go first. <laughs> slaves? <laughs> you must be joking. Oh, why should I joke about a thing like that? <laughs> there you are. Oh, Olga, oh, it's about time. You're not Olga? Of course not. Who's Olga? Oh, I've been chasing you around the city for hours. Excuse me. Do I know you? Oh, that is funny. Am I supposed to know you from the tour? worry me sometimes. If you're from the tour, why are you wearing that long tunic? What? This is the latest fashion from Rome. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it's been nice meeting you. Well, how can you talk that way to your sister? What? It's not funny anymore. Oh, I'm afraid you have me confused with somebody else. I am your sister, Claudia. Has the sun touched your hair? I'm sorry. You can't be my sister. And why not? Because... I already have a sister. Her name is Betty, and she lives in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? My sorry, you speak as if you were possessed. My name is Jennifer. And all I'm trying to do is find my friend, Olga, and get back to the tour bus. Marcella, stop teasing me this instant. Look, you're obviously confusing me with someone else. Oh, you can't fool me. I understand now. Oh, good. You are behaving in this manner because you wish to cheer me up. What? But you promised to help me, Marcella. You can't break your promise to me. I have never seen you before in my life. Marcella, wait. wait I, I didn't mean to get angry. I'm sorry. Marcella, please, wait. I ran. I, I don't know where or how far. But what was going on? Where had all these people suddenly come from? And why were they dressed in ancient costumes? The sounds, the smells, the cries of the marketplace seemed so real. But how could they be? There could only be one answer. I had to be going out of my mind. Marcella, stop. Oh, I'm positively out of breath trying to keep up. Oh, not you again. The closer I look at you, the more I am convinced you're not feeling well. Now, come on, let's go home. Now, I'll have Andreas prepare a nice herb tea. Gracious. What's that? Marcella, you know very well it was just old Vesuvia saying good morning. Vesuvia? Oh, for a moment, you actually look frightened. Well, of course I'm frightened. Oh, the silly old mountains. Well, do you remember the last time it erupted? Erupted? What are you talking about? Don't pretend you've forgotten that this silly old mountain, as you call it, was once an active volcano. Volcano? Here? Here? In your history books, it exploded and it destroyed oh. ancient Pompeii. Pompeii destroyed. You speak nonsense. Look, read any book. In 79 A.D., Pompeii and the neighboring town of Herculaneum were destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Why are you speaking in riddles? What is 79 A.D.? Oh, I give up. Look, do me a favor, will you? Give me the directions back to the main road. Marcella. And stop calling me Marcella. You are deliberately trying to distract me from my troubles by being gruesome. All this talk of devastation in our two towns here. Peaceful as can be. Just take a look at the ruins. What ruins? The ruins all around us. Where? Right here. Wait a minute. Oh, this is impossible. Who of what? I see nothing but the same old building. This house. It wasn't here before. Nonsense. That's the house of Marcus Joseph, the physician. Oh, it's been his family for 200 years. What's happened to the ruins? That building. There was nothing here but the foundation. Oh, how can you say that? Why, only yesterday, the brother of the new emperor himself attended a banquet in that very hall. And you... What? Oh, don't pretend you don't know that Vespasian died over two months ago. Titus is a new emperor. Emperor Titus? Am I dreaming? Am I going out of my mind? Marcella? Doesn't feel like a dream. It's too real. But I can't be... Actually, back in ancient Pompeii, there are no ruins. This town, the buildings, there. As they were 2,000 years in the past. And the people alive and dressed as they were long ago. No, I'm not hallucinating. 
I'm not. This town is alive. And I'm back. Back in ancient Pompeii. What is reality? To some people like Jennifer Matthews, if you can smell it, hear it, touch it, it must be real. Actually, it's a very scientific attitude. Reality is whatever the majority agrees upon. Other than that, there's no proof, no evidence that it can be anything else. If the majority of people claim to be inhabitants of Pompeii during the early days of the Roman Empire, who are we to say they are not? I'll be back shortly with Act Two. Jennifer Matthews is a New York school teacher, depressed after the death of her husband. She half-heartedly agreed to take a summer tour of Italy with another teacher, Olga Wilson. One moment, they are both standing in the midst of the ancient ruins of Pompeii, and the next, Olga was gone. The ruins had disappeared, and in their place stands the old town, alive again. Chariots and horse-drawn wagons line the streets. People in ancient costume are selling breads, cheeses. And a pretty young girl claims to be Jennifer's sister. Only Jennifer's name is not Jennifer. It is Marcella. And if losing oneself in the past is a way of escaping the pain and loneliness of the present, how much resistance can even the sanest person give? Sometimes I wonder about you, Marcella. My name isn't Marcella. How many times do I have to tell you? They always said you were the sensible one and I was the dreamer. <laughs> but today I don't know. Is it possible that I'd actually gone back in time? Into the past? You are not in the past. You are in the here and now. The present. But all of this is impossible. Yet with every moment it seems more and more right. It was then that the oddest feeling came over me. What I was, who I was, all spun around in my head like some crazy dream. I looked at this complete stranger, and suddenly, I knew her. She was Claudia, my sister. It was like stepping out of a dark corridor into the daylight. The name Jennifer Matthews seemed distant, unfamiliar. Marcella, I was... Marcella. Are you all right? I know you. I should certainly hope so. You're my sister. Marcella, when are you going to speak to Cousin Paulus? Cousin Paulus? After all, you did promise. Cousin Paulus? Oh, oh, don't tell me you've forgotten him, too. No, no, of course not. Paulus Flavius, our guardian. I don't want to marry some fat old man. Well, what makes you think you'll be doing that? Paulus insists on arranging my marriage to my best advantage. Oh, so he says. Of course it will be to some fat, old, rich man. Oh, why must you anticipate the worst? Is it marriage like that? You're afraid, aren't you? You know how I feel, Marcella? Yes, I know. I'll speak to Paulus. Ah, Marcella. I certainly didn't expect to see you up so early. I wish to speak with you, cousin. Splendid. What shall we speak about? I wish to speak with you about Claudia. Well, let us speak of this evening's games. Uh, have you ever seen such excitement, such anticipation? About Claudia. Uh, we I... here in Pompeii can't be as opulent as the new emperor, though. Oh, how can one forget that display last month? A hundred tigers in the Colosseum at one time. Magnificent. And Marcella... The champion of that incredible spectacle, the greatest gladiator of them all, Milos, is here tonight. Let us speak of Claudia. Ah, very well, very well. We shall speak of Claudia. She has no wish to be married. You know the laws as well as I do. She has been of age longer than the maximum three years. She must be married soon. Oh, but it is not necessary in Claudia's case. She's confided to me her desire to enter the Temple of Minerva. Oh, that's absurd. Spend her life wilting away inside a marble tomb with some old hag. Claudia will be better off. She's too sensitive for the demands of a husband. Yes. She is very beautiful. But she is not strong like you. She needs someone. Someone to look after her. Yes, someone old and fat and very rich, of course. Marcella, you do not understand. Oh, you're the one who doesn't understand. Claudia is afraid of men. She is not 
afraid of me. Well, that's different. She isn't going to marry you. Why not? You, Paulus. She is so very beautiful. I would take care of her. You, Paula? Is the idea so disagreeable to you? No, I I, I just never thought... I, I never expected that you... You're young and handsome, as I'm sure you know. But you could be Apollo himself, and Claudia would still be afraid to marry... There is nothing more to discuss. Paula, you can't marry Claudia against her wish. I am her guardian. I can do what I like. But it isn't right. I wish to speak of something else now. I'm going to the arena to watch practice before the morning sun becomes too hot. How would you like to meet the great Milos himself? Mm, no, not really. That'll be so amusing. Men killing other men do not interest me. It's just the exercises, Mark. No. Well, I insist. Now, come along. It'll be such fun. Hello, Marcus. Ah, Septimus. Uh, greetings, Marcella. Ah, look there. Uh, look, see the one w w with his back to us? Uh, have you ever seen such shoulders, such strength? Now watch him. Watch him throw his opponent to the ground. There! <laughs> now you know who that is, don't you? That's only the greatest gladiator of them all, Milos. Milos? Rather large, isn't he? Yeah, some people say he is a descendant of one of the Titans. Now when he turns around, you'll really get a good look at him. There, there, he sees us. Milos, over here! That is... Milos? Yes, I can tell you're dazzled. No, it, it's not that. It, I've seen that man before. Well, how could you? You've never been to the Coliseum. No, not there. Ah, Milos, how are Greetings, you? Greetings, my lord. Well, we were just watching your practice. You were splendid, <laughs> just splendid. Ah, thank you. Marcella, this is Milos. Milos, my cousin, Marcella. Great privilege, my lady. Something in his voice... Something in his eyes struck me. The holidays start here at Kroger with a variety of options to celebrate traditions old and new. Whether you're making a traditional roasted turkey or spicy turkey tacos, your go-to shrimp cocktail, or your first Cajun risotto, Kroger has all the freshest ingredients to embrace your traditions. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Choose from a great selection of digital coupons and use them up to five times in one transaction. Check our app for details. Kroger. Fresh for everyone. It was in another place, another time, but the same man. But different hair, different clothes, different name. A name I knew I had spoken thousands of times, a name on the tip of my tongue. It was impossible, of course, but in some far-off dream... There had been someone else so very like him. He spoke again. Will you be attending the game this evening, my lady? What? I should be honored to dedicate my victory to you. Aren't you thrilled, Marcella? Oh, I'd rather you did not. Marcella! Oh, this is unusual. I've never known a lady to turn down a victory salute. But what if you should lose? Lose? <laughs> my lady Marcella, let me assure you, I shall not lose. I never lose. The pride goeth before a fall. <laughs> Tell me then, if due to a whim of the gods I should fall, will your thumb point towards Olympus or Hades? My thumb will point in neither direction, for uh -huh. I shall be at home. You would miss the games? I have no desire to watch grown men kill each other for sport. Uh, Marcella, please. Sport? For you, maybe. To us in the ring, my lady. It is our way of life. But how can you be so casual? You could die this very evening. And in what way would that concern you? Yes. You are death. Your death does concern me. Don't ask me why. As if in a nightmare I've seen you die before. A horrible death. The thought of your death fills me with pain and loss. You're only a stranger, and yet I know you. You must not die. If you die, I would have no desire to go on living. It's no concern to me whether you win or lose. I didn't think so. Marcella, you're as white as a sheet. Look, come back here. Where, where are you going? Marcella, come back this instant. I waited and waited for you. Oh, you look as if you've seen a ghost. I have. What? Uh, in a manner of speaking, that is. 
Oh, Claudia, have you ever met someone and felt sure that you knew him already, but that you couldn't remember from where? No. You know me, Marcella. I, I don't make it my business to meet many people. Did you speak to Cousin Paulus? Oh, yes. I, I'd forgotten about that. Well? Well, um, must we discuss it this instant? Well, I, I merely want to know the result. Well, everything's always your problems and your worries. If, you... if it annoys you so much, Marcella, we, we, we don't have to discuss me or my problems again ever. Oh, Claudia. Oh, for Jupiter's lightning, are you crying? Well, I can't bear it for you to hate me. I don't hate you. Yes, you do. Now you stop that this instant and wipe your eyes. It looks <laughs> terrible. My goodness, what a baby you are. That... Oh, it's stupid with Silvius. It's always getting in the last word. It's a bit grumpier than usual this morning, wouldn't you say? It's just a stupid old mountain. You talk about it as if it were alive. Well, it is alive. It's dead. It's just a pile of dead rock. Claudia, Paulus wants to marry you. He wants to, to what? Marry you. <gasps> you. You cannot be serious. I believe he's in love with you. Pa Paulus in love with me? I think he's loved you all along. <gasps> oh, it's incredible. It, it never occurred to me. Paulus, I, I, I never thought of him that way. Well, I told him about your plans to enter the temple. The temple? Oh, yes, that. So he might release you from your obligation if you can convince him of your ardent desire to serve the gods. Who did you meet at the arena that seemed so familiar to you? I, I, I wasn't paying attention before, you know. A gladiator. A gladiator? Oh, you are joking. Oh, well, I assure you there was nothing funny about the great Milos. Milos? The Milos? That's him. No wonder you were frightened. He's a giant. But I wasn't exactly... Frightened. They say he's killed 500 men. I wouldn't doubt it. Claudia, it's like a riddle. How can someone you've just met remind you of someone you don't know? Oh, you are attracted to him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. A gladiator. What will Cousin Paul say? I'd seen his face in a dream I'd had this morning. Uh, not a dream, really, but many images... Women in strange garments. A column of cloth covering each leg. How uncomfortable. Music coming from tiny boxes. Oh, you are just And buildings a mile high and roadways smooth as marble, crowded with chariots. But chariots moving without mules or horses to pull them and going faster than the wind. Oh, that is most amusing. <laughs> Why am I afraid? <laughs> what harm could come to us here in Pompeii? Why are you suddenly talking this way? It's in the twilight of my mind. A warning that I cannot decipher. Something is trying to tell me to beware the wrath of the gods. Oh, the sun has gone to your head. You'd better lie down before luncheon. What is happening to me, Claudia? Yesterday I was happy and my head was clear. But what has this morning done to me? Why am I filled with fear? Perhaps it was wrong of me to... To joke that Vesuvius was alive. Why do you keep bringing up Vesuvius? You've never noticed it much before. Yes, I have, haven't I? Claudia, what day is this? Well, it, it's the day of the game. The date? August 24th, of course. Today is the 24th of August. The 24th of August in the second month of the reign of Titus. Marcella, what is the matter? Why should that date be inscribed in my mind? <gasps> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please, tell me. What? Today. It happens today. What? What, what happened? I today? see it clearly now. <laughs> the cinders and the flames. A warning. Another warning. Vesuvius has been rumbling since the dawn of time. No, this is different. This is Vesuvius speaking. Vesuvius is alive. It is saying there is no tomorrow. Marcella, you are frightened. <laughs> There's no tomorrow, Claudia. We will all be buried... Alive. Buried. Alive. According to the laws of physics, two objects cannot be in the same place at the same time. So what we want to know is, who is doing the dreaming around here? Is Jennifer Matthews dreaming of another life back in old Pompeii? Or is it Marcella, who is dreaming of another existence as Jennifer Matthews? According to Einstein, time is relative. 
who are we to say that Pompeii was destroyed nearly 20 centuries ago? Or that it'll be destroyed in just a few moments when I return with Act Three. To the person with the ability to predict the future, the risks run high. After all, people are seldom receptive to bad news. Marcella has foreseen the terrifying eruption of Mount Vesuvius, but who would possibly believe her? In any other instance, how satisfying to be able to say, I told you so. But in this situation, quite impossible. But if by chance, Marcella can discover a way to escape, who will she choose to take along with her? Marcella, I have never, never, ever attempted to give you advice, but, well, when one is as troubled as you are, the... The only solution is to seek the guidance of the gods. I am troubled, but not in a way you think. You do not believe in my vision of Vesuvius, but I have no doubts at all. I need the guidance of those great powers to help us plan our escape, if indeed it is not meant to be that we die. Minerva, I have come to your temple because you are the goddess of wisdom. I do not know why I have been caused to see the future. I do not know why I have seen any of the visitors I have seen this day. I beg you, guide me. If it is not meant that I die in the fury of Vesuvius, tell me. Speak through my heart. Yes. I hear you, I hear you now, Minerva. Speak. The sea. The safety of the sea. Yes. I know what I must do. Well, if it isn't the lady, Marcella, what brings you back to the arena? I, I, I'm looking for my cousin, but obviously he's no longer here. Obviously. Idiot! Aim that javelin away from here. Oh, I, I, I'm in the way. I'd better go. No, no, wait. I'm, uh... Trying to remember where Lord Paulus said he was... Oh, yes. Yes, he said he'd be stopping at the wine shop. He invited me to accompany him, but I make him a habit never to drink on the day of a contest. That's a very wise idea. Thank you, my Now, wait. Yes? Are you uh, still not coming to the games tonight? Tonight? I intend to win. Now, I'm telling you that you're all wrong. No, 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 no we're not. Ah, you'll lose your purses, gentlemen. The smart money is on me, love. <laughs> now, do as you will, my friends. I shall not be the one to say I told you so. Paula, I must talk to you. Marcella, my dear cousin, what a joy to see your lovely face again. Uh, you, <laughs> you really shouldn't be here. No, I wouldn't have come except this is most urgent. Paula. We need a boat. A boat? All right. This very minute. Come along. Have some wine. In less than an hour, we must be out into the bay. Why? What's happening in the bay? We'll be safe there. Well, safe from what? I... I've had a vision, Paulus. Vesuvius is going to erupt and bury the town. <laughs> what? Oh, that's why we need a boat, so that we can escape in time. Marcella, please. I couldn't expect you to believe me. <laughs> Vesuvius erupt. Oh, how can I make you believe me? We must be safely out to sea, or we won't be able to fight the current. I know what you're really doing, Marcella. You think I have wagered too heavily, and I am in for a fall. Oh, no. Oh, please, listen. Always the practical one, the sensible one, the family person. Oh, don't believe me either, do you? I've always loved this garden, especially the little fish in the pond. What good will it do me to escape Vesuvius if the two people I love so dearly stay here and perish? Animals are very sensitive, you know. They can sense changes in the weather. And lots of things. Oh, you aren't listening. Uh, that's strange. Look at the way they're all poking their heads into the mud at the bottom. I've never seen them do that. Claudia, one last time. Incredible. Listen. It's as if they were trying to hide. They're terrified. What is it that they sense? What has frightened them so? They know, Claudia. Listen to the birds. They sound different. Yes. Yes, yes, I can hear it. They know, too. Soon they will take flight. You're, you're right. 
Minerva has given you a vision and I denied it. We will die. No, not if we get to the boat in time. Then we'll live. You and I and, and Paula? You and I. What about Cousin Polly? He will not come. Then I will not go either. He refused to believe me. I can't force him to sail with us. I realize now, sister, if Polly dies, I should not care to live. I will stay. Listen to me, Claudia. I think I know of a way. A way to get Paulus down to the harbor. But you must be there. But you just said that he won't... promise me. Give me your sacred oath. You will go now to the harbor. But, but I don't... The I... name of the boat is the Helena. But I don't want to... You go want to... to save Paulus? But yes, of course I do. Then promise. Uh, well, I... I promise. Go, Claudia. Go. Now. Oh, now, not again. Can't you give me some Paulus, piece? I don't have much time. Claudia, believe me. She is down at the harbor this very minute, waiting for us. But she refuses to leave unless you are there. She? She will, will not leave without me? She says that if you come to the harbor, she'll be so overwhelmed with joy that she will fling her arms around you and kiss you. I don't believe you. Oh, Paulus, I thought you were a gambler. Uh, who said I was? All right, then why don't you take this as a wager? If Claudia is there to kiss you, you'll set sail with us. If Claudia is not there, as I promised, I will be your most penitent ward forever. I will marry whoever you command me to. What are you up to, Marcella? Oh, what's the matter, cousin? My cards, as they say, are all out on the table before you. Are you afraid to take a chance? Well, you brought me all the way down here, and I don't see Claudia. Oh, she's here, I know it. No, she isn't. Oh, look, I look, can't wait. In... Over there. No. No, it can't be. Paul. Claudia. Paul, you did come. You... Oh, I'm so happy. Dears, I am the one who is happy. Dear, I believe you care this much. Is this a dream I will wake up from? You will come with us now. Of course he will, Claudia. He's a man of his word, aren't you, Paulus? With her? With her I will go anywhere. Yes, I have lost the wager, but love has made me a winner. Love. Love. Well, I'm ready to cast off. No. Uh, Marcella? No. We cannot leave yet, please. Wait here. Marcella, Marcella, you can't go now. Come back. Where are you off to? I, I thought that we were going... Marcella, come back. Wait for me. Just wait for me. doing here? I, I must speak to you. I, I, I've not come here for my cousin. I, I'm here to see you. Oh, what would you have to say to me? But you're a man, and you cannot tell? What do you say? In the harbor, I have a boat, the Helena. I want you to come away with me. What? I said I, I want you to come away with me. Why are you doing this to me? I know that you're attracted to me. I don't deny that you're beautiful. I'm more than attracted to you. I can see nothing else but you. Milos, come with me. Oh, why do you torment me? You high-born women that want to amuse yourselves. I'm not amusing myself. I'm making a complete fool of myself. A man like me, a gladiator. I want you, Milos. I almost believe you. I am prepared to give up everything. My money, my position, my home. Just to have you. I believe that you would. I believe that you would. Oh, will you? Will you come away then? Yes, yes, I will come with you. Then let's go now. Now, this minute? Yes, we have no time to lose. What about the games? I cannot leave before the games. No, no, there's no time left. We must leave. You're now. You're asking Please. me to miss, miss the games, to dishonor the name of Milos, to be disgraced. I'm willing to give up everything for you. But obviously, you are not willing to give up everything for me. Goodbye, Milo. No, Marcella. Marcella, wait. I will. I will come with you. And let us hurry. My love. Claudia, where on earth is your sister? I don't know. Why isn't she here? You know what I think? I think it was just a trick on her part to bring us together. I don't believe she intends to come back at all. That isn't so, Paul. She must come back. What's that? Oh, she must. No. I, I don't believe it. it. It cannot be. Claudia, it is Vesuvius. Look, look. Look, I see myself. I see her. Well, who does she have with her? Well, it, it, it's Minos. How on earth? Oh, you must cast off at once. As well as done. My lady, Marcella, I am confused. Minos, we are safe. We are safe now, my love. We 
we're safe. This time I have saved you. Jennifer, we have escaped. Jen, the bus is here. I have saved you. I have sa- Olga, honestly, you've been standing there like an absolute zombie. I saved him, Olga. Saved who? Michael. I mean, it's all right now. What are you talking about? It's so clear. Oh, can't you see it? There was nothing I could have done. It wasn't my fault about Michael. I understand now. Is this really Jennifer Matthews talking? It's as if a weight had been lifted off my shoulder. I must be dreaming. Yeah. That's what it was. A a wonderful dream. Jennifer, you're smiling. I understand now. That's why. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get back on the bus. There's nothing else to see in this town. There's just a lot of ruins. Let's get back to the living. Yes, back to the living. For as the philosophers say, life is for the living. Of course, it is not for me to say which heroine, Marcella or Jennifer, is the one who is alive at this moment. We encourage creativity among our listeners, and it is for you to decide who is dreaming of whom. How strong an emotion is guilt? Better yet, how powerful is love? If we do, in fact, carry our consciousness with us in a series of lives, of rebirths, through an eternity of existence, do the guilts, the pains, the loves survive? Is each life merely a repetition of the other? We cannot escape the past, then it would seem we cannot escape the future either. For in a cycle, are they not all one and the same? Our cast included Marion Seldes, Patricia Elliott, Paul Hecht, and Larry Haynes. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. And now, a preview of our next tale. What giants do you talk about, my lord? There, in the distance, where I'm pointing. Do you see how they thresh at us with their fearfully long arms? I have read that giants can reach out and catch people who are as much as two leagues away. Well, in, in, in that case, we are much too close. I shrink into my saddle and make myself as small as possible. Now, that way, maybe they won't see me. You do the same. No, no, let them see us. They will prove no match for me. My lord, I think I must tell you, those things you're pointing out that you call giants are no more than windmills. Windmills? They can't do us any harm. Windmills, indeed. (laughs) Oh, my simple son, sure, that shows how very little you know about giants. Windmills. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time... Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.